Hi, I'm Dr. Viva Rodriguez and I'm a consultant in infertility at Nova IVF Fertility Basaveshwanagar. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about male infertility and how important it is to address this issue. What is male infertility? When we look at statistics, 30% of women have a problem. 30% of the time, it's only the males who have a problem and about 30 to 40% of the time, it's both who have the problem. So we need to make a couple understand that infertility is a couple's disease and we should insist that the male is always present at the first visit and for subsequent visits if possible. When a patient comes in, after we take a history, the first test that we ask for male infertility is for the per person to undergo a semen analysis. For a semen analysis, we have to advise the patient to do a few blood tests, the serology earlier, and then we also tell them about abstinence and how many days they have to abstain. Usually the WHO guideline is two to seven days, but ideally we ask them to abstain for about three to four days and come in and give a sample at the lab. Never collect the sample at home or at elsewhere and bring it in. Uh, because the quality of the sample could deteriorate. The sample is collected at the lab and usually processed within the next hour. And the three most important things that we look for in a semen analysis are the count, the motility of the sperm, and the morphology of the sperm, because these are the three parameters that help us decide on what treatment we can offer this couple or this man. And the uh, treatments that are available for male infertility are IUI, where there is a problem with motility or low accounts, or the other important treatment for male infertility is IVF and the ICSI or the intracytoplasmic sperm implantation, wherein we put a sperm actually into an egg to help a pregnancy occur. So this is probably the most important breakthrough in fertility treatment ever is when ICSI was started and used for male infertility. And at NOVA, we have a very good andrology setup, a very good lab, very good andrologists and consultants who advise a male as to what he needs to do to correct his problem and also to go ahead and have a baby.